fairy tales. All those short little stories where they have the most darkest endings from scot-free murder to happy self-harm. And then they get sanitized for the next generation. This relies on many stories like The Little Mermaid, Goldilocks and the Three Bears, and Little Red Riding Hood. Many of these fairy tales often rely on character development through an adventure, as twisted as some can be. These stories and characters would often get changed up in small sections, or drastically, for better or for worse. Now today, I'm going to be talking about this weird, bizarre, unlicensed Nintendo Entertainment System game, otherwise called Lil Red Hood. Yes, they didn't include the writing in the title. The game was developed by Sachin and released in 1989 at Taiwan, with an oddly more creative tile screen. Regardless, the games that Sachin would create and publish were unlicensed, and this game in particular had this weird case where you had to plug in a licensed NES game with the actual game in order for it to go through the NES lockout chip. A chip that made sure unlicensed games weren't to be made and published, which wasn't really all too successful. But now onto the game itself with its character and story. And so the game begins with Lil Red Hood literally outside right beside a palm tree with no real buildup as a bunch of goblins and other weird creatures are trying to kill her. As she avoids those vermin by just running away like a Lil Red Chicken, stairs pop in as she collects cherries that fall from random trees by kicking them. As she goes through the stairs, she can collect random items there while avoiding additional enemies. But, she has to find a key to progress forward. Which is always random, so sometimes it's quick, other times not so much. After she got the key, she has to continue running away like the little gutless wonder she is, before completely golden stairs popping out of nowhere as she ventures on to more or less the same formulaic wasted material. Well, okay, there are some changes going on, but again, a lot of it's pretty much the same game, so it just comes off really boringly repetitive. But now, Lil Red Hood has to find a way to dodge the big fat panda to get that silly little key. And she literally does that by hurting herself to get a few seconds of invincibility. And now she has to wait for her golden stairs to pop up again. And in between all these repeats, she goes through random obstacles to face up in order to get ahead. With terrible hitboxes. Some of these include jumping through turtles to get across a lake that insta-kills her. Or ironically enough, swimming just to collect two pearls from two clams as random fishes keep strolling around the sea. But the most ridiculous thing of them all starting at World 7, by a random specific selection of items that's required to get a single key that just pops up random to go through the golden stairs that also pops up random. So many guesses, so little fun. But basically, in World 7, she buys two slingshots. In World 8, she buys an invincibility potion with three slingshots. World 9, she faces off a naked Winnie the Pooh in the same fashion. And World 10, she has to buy an invincibility potion in order to get the key. Throughout her travels, she would sometimes have a random dog let in to help, which can be found in those random rocks that's often like a guess what I might have sort of thing. Sometimes it's just an enemy. Oh, and some of the slingshots she can buy? Oh, yeah, yeah, she like, uh, throws the slingshot itself. What? Now you may be wondering, what does this have anything to do with the original Little Red Riding Hood? Nothing really, except for Little Red Riding Hood, which is just you know the title, and her grandma. Oh yeah, yeah, she, yeah, her grandma's in this. And that's why she's traveling. No basket either. After all those worlds, and all that traveling, she finally made it to her grandma. And what did she learn? Anything else happened? Nope. They just, they just, they just came together and lived happily ever after. So yeah, that was her journey, and her hero's journey. Things she had to learn the complicated way, I guess, in this otherwise pretty terrible game. 